the feeling I have when I'm painting, time goes by without me noticing. It's kind of like a break from reality and yet I'm doing something productive with my time. I've always had an interest and love of art and I experimented throughout my life. It wasn't till a few years ago I was living in Hawaii and that's when I really started again. I moved to a town in Kauai and they had a big art night every Friday night and one of the artists there, Giorgio Naranjo, does the palette knife paintings and I had never seen it or even heard of it before and I instantly loved it and was really drawn to it because of the texture and the vibrant colors that he used. And um, we ended up becoming friends and he helped me get started and gave me some guidance. And after doing that a few times, I actually started some work on my own. And then quickly after that, I moved back to Michigan and that's really where I developed my own style. I love everything about using a palette knife. I think it's really the only reason I'm pursuing art at this point because without it I wouldn't have a direction. I love it for many reasons. One, because it gives the painting so much texture and it allows me to really layer the paint and it also, I think it's a great tool for adding movement into the painting. My process really starts with this collection of ideas and experiences that I've had and usually when an idea comes to me, I, I just go with it. Nature in general is really my main you know, subject matter. One thing just ends up naturally leading to something else without me planning on it necessarily. For example, in Kauai, they have a tree tunnel where eucalyptus trees have grown together at the top, literally forming a tunnel. And I did some paintings of that and that kind of evolved into these other tree tunnel paintings I've done more based on Michigan landscapes with um, more birch trees or whatnot that you see here. And it's been really fun because I feel like I'm taking a collection of experiences I've had in my life and places I've seen and kind of collaging it together to make this series. And sometimes I change the color scheme to depict winter or fall or summer or add some kind of a sunrise into it. I think in today's world it can be really depressing to listen to the news and see things that are going on around us that's very chaotic and upsetting. So I feel like using nature as my subject it just kind of makes me step back and appreciate the small things and see the beauties around us and not just get caught up and let it pass by. I'm working on this new series of sunflowers where I incorporate the squares background behind the sunflowers and the squares is kind of my signature style. It's um, kind of a pixelated look but the squares are arranged like very precisely and purposefully. With the sunflowers there is three to four layers of paint for each petal and most areas of the paintings will have that three to four layers of paint and then I will go through with a knife later and blend some of them or sometimes I carve through them to blend it that way. So I just added the centers into the sunflowers and now I'm kind of blending the edges where the petals meet the center and this would be um, in nature where the seeds would be in the sunflower. And this is kind of fun because this is um, doing a little bit of carving with the knife. It takes two weeks to a month to dry depending on the thickness of the paint. My husband Corey is extremely supportive with my art and he actually makes all of the frames and stretches all of the canvas for me which is really a huge part of the whole process. I'll put in the corner supports. This really helps because as uh, the paintings are drying um, paint dries at different times, especially with her sunflowers. Um, I always use this because like her sunflower petals may not dry and they'll be up here, but the, the rest of it's gonna dry so it starts twisting the wood a little bit. So this helps prevent that and keeps it nice and, nice and square. My art is shown really throughout Michigan right now. It can be found at River's Edge Gallery, which is located in Wyandotte. Also at Northville Gallery in Northville. And previously, I've shown my work at the Tangent Gallery and Start Gallery in Detroit. Also, the Museum of New Art, um, which is called Mona, and that's in Troy. I have public art in a few different cities right now. 
Um, I have work in Royal Oak, Novi, Romulus, and Michigan City. My piece in Royal Oak is a reproduction and it's outside on the Royal Motor Inn, which is facing East 11 Mile. I have had people say to me that my paintings seem calming to them. I hope that it kind of gives them the same feeling it does for me of like that step back from the chaos. And one way that my husband puts it that I really like is he talks about how my paintings are like in today's world basically of how everything is HD and perfect and it's whatnot. It's kind of nice to have something that's like real and it has the texture to it and it's not perfect and it's just beautiful to look at. You can learn more about Emily Vito on DetroitPerforms.org.